Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the perf purple, purple Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, and we're going to see just how good she is. Now, to be honest with you, uh, yeah, I personally just think maybe. Kefla is an example of a free-to-play unit that's not so great. I just look at Android 21 Zenkai. And obviously, yeah, the Zenkai helps with the stats and everything. But she's just so much better than Kefla. Kefla is just... I don't know if she's not got the raw stats. I don't know if she's just not got the synergy. I don't know if... She just doesn't feel like she works for me. Nothing too crazy on the blasts and all that. Uh, Gigantic Ray does do a really cool effect of sealing uh, the enemy's card for 10 time accounts. I do think that's good. Uh, I do think that's something that can be helpful to a lot of players. I think, you know, the support skill is okay. Uh, you, you know, draw a blast arts card, you restore your key. It's just... Maybe, so, my rival universe, my, like, Universal Survival Saga teams are not the most, you know, advanced. Maybe it's that, but she just doesn't feel like she's got that much going on. Uh, she doesn't feel like she does enough damage. Uh, she doesn't really feel like she does enough as a unit. Uh, I know she is free to play. So I don't want to kind of bag on her too much. I just compare it to Android 21 Red and her Zenkai. And she can do some real serious damage. Uh, she's actually a really solid option on her team. If they need to start zenkai some of these units as they come out to make them usable, they might have to. Like, Blue Broly is pretty strong. Like, He's really, really good. So it kind of makes sense to me. But like even her tag, like to be faced with a god key unit. There's not a lot of god key units currently in the meta. Um, like I mean Universal Survival Saga Goku from the anniversary is maybe like the most prevalent one. A lot of the time you're fighting ultra rare god teams. Uh, or ultra rare fusion teams I should say. Maybe Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. But she's just going to get incinerated by Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta anyway. So, it is just a little bit weird. Um, look, the team that I'm... You know, the team that I have for her is not the greatest. Uh, I will admit that. So, I don't want to judge her too harshly because... I don't really have the tools to make her shine as well as... Maybe I should. You know, I do think that's something to kind of put out there. I also think she's a bit better on a girls team. I think with Android 21, I think with, uh, well, just the whole team being basically Android 21s, I do think there is better spacing for her on the girls team, especially with... Um, like a lot of them being blast orientated she's not like so when it, she's not bad she's not terrible she just doesn't seem to excel uh, in too much she can take some decent damage which is good um, but only for like a brief period of time and then she kind of falls off a little bit but it's okay uh, I think at the end of the day it's just a little bit of a miss with this one. I just don't think she... Like, whereas Broly... I think the Fierce Fights are like this. Like, some of them come out and they're actually really, really solid. I think Trunks was an example of a super solid Fierce Fight. Uh, I think that um, Broly is an example of a super solid Fierce Fight. Um, Zamasu is not so great. Uh... This Kefla is not so, so I think they're just a bit hit or miss the fierce fights units. Like they either come out, they're super usable, or they're not so usable. It's 
I think it's just a thing. Like I think I think it's just depending on you know how they designed at the time, the way the meta is affected by the other units and things like that. Yeah, I just think that's that's maybe one of those things. Kefla for me, she just doesn't do enough. Like not enough damage, not enough like supporting. I just think she lacks uh, a little bit to make her really, really solid as an option. Um, she, but she, in all fairness to her, she can still be okay against like green type units. But the big thing is if you don't get her ultimate skill off, if you aren't able to seal up the opposition, do those sort of things, then you do lose out. So yeah, that's the big thing. Her, her big, big ticket for me, her big ticket item that she's got, her big ticket play, is the sealing of the uh, skill on her ultimate ability or on her special move. And this for me is obviously like quite pivotal uh, to determining whether she she does well. So if you can get that off, then fantastic. You now manage to you know set yourself up a little bit, but it is really um like you know, it is really dependent on that. <laughs> like that's where her usability comes to an end. Her getting her ultimate skill off is big. Uh, seals one card we have units that like just completely destroy hands so it is different this is a bit weird um, but yeah I just think overall she does lack a little bit of it you know the ability to make herself like super duper solid she can do decent damage with blasts uh, I don't want to discredit everything she does she can do decent damage with blasts she is like solid in that respect and you can 14 star her there is still room for her to grow i could give her better equipment i think she runs better on a girls team so it's not to say that she's like i said she's not terrible i just don't feel the same way when i felt with android 21 where there was that big burst of damage or with broly i just don't necessarily feel the same using her as i did with using them uh, I don't even think I've done my really review yet or build for the channel. But yeah, I just think she's missing something there. So at the end of the day, I think that's where Kefla is. I don't know if they could have maybe just given her a bit more art card draw speed. Something it just feels like she she can't maintain a combo like at all, which is always a shame. Like nowadays, you know, you've got units that can just uplift combos. Uh, that's a big thing about Broly, his key recovery mechanisms, and Kefla does have some cost down mechanisms, which is all right. But the big problem is, at the end of the day, she just can't maintain those combos, and that. You know, in PvP, that's kind of like a dead rubber. Because you either have to not maintain combos, or you have to be a card or a unit nowadays that completely destroys combos. You have to be like a five times cover change, nullification, special action stopping card. And that's where, like, I think, unfortunately for me, it feels like Kefla is just not really there you know she's not really like in that space as a unit which i think is a real shame and i think she could really have done with a bit of benefiting on it is all i would say she can still do decent damage to green so that is something if you don't have a purple option for your rival universe team uh, if you're a new player who's picked up the red uh, hit, ultra hit, and you're really looking for someone to join your universe team just for a boost, then she's alright there. Her strike damage is non-existent, so with hit being strike, and with most teams being strike composite teams, she's not really going to be able to help you there, but she can at least give you the boost, and like I said, she can do decent damage, she's got the health down, 
So there is that ability for her there. You know, she, she's heavily reliant on blasts for her to do a lot of things. And that's okay. It's not the end of the world when a unit that is blast is reliant on blasts. But she really can feel a tiny bit lackluster. Which, yeah, for me isn't a shame for a free-to-play unit. It's just a bit upsetting. Because I think Super Saiyan 2 Kefla is... A uh, character that could be a lot of fun. I remember the green Kefla you see me using here when she came out uh, was a hell of a lot of fun as a unit. Huge damage. Keflas always feel like this huge damage type of character. You know, big damage, possibly uh, eliminating the opposition. Um, yeah, that kind of vibe. And this Kefla doesn't really feel that way. She feels like she just doesn't really have enough to like go or to to be as effective as maybe I'd want him to be which is a little bit of a shame but at the end of the day yeah it's alright overall I think she's a good unit for new players to pick up to augment their rival universe teams uh, I think she's a good player to pick up if you are running a girls team potentially uh, because a Android 21 girls team has actually a Zenkai boost for her, which is good, uh, and also is heavily blast orientated. So I do think she'd look better on that team. Uh, I will 100% put out the disclaimer that I think she will look about 20% better on a girls team. Like, no, no doubt in my mind, stick her on a blast orientated girls team and she'll look a bit better. I just think... Um, you're looking to run Rival Universe or Universal Survival Saga, she doesn't really answer any questions for that team. She doesn't really fill in any gaps for that team. So that is just one of those things, uh, but it's okay. Yeah, and like I said, not every unit has to be super duper good. Uh, she can still do really solid damage, um, which is great when it's not nullified by Ultra Rare Broly, but yeah. Uh, she still can do decent damage, just only really with blasts and a special, but that's okay. I think at the end of the day, that's more than fine. Um, I just think she's not as... Yeah, I thought with Broly, they'd like, decided to start 2023 off with like a super good fierce fight and to kind of like, you know, continue that trend and it just seems like they're maybe not doing that or they're just going to continue kind of being these... They're either good or they're... Eh, kind of units and I think Kefla falls a bit more on the meh kind of side of things but you yeah, know to each their own but let me know what you guys think I'd love to hear what you hear or think about Kefla as a unit and yeah uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys but that's gonna be it for me I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and of course as always I'll see you guys next time but until then take care and bye